Hi, um, welcome back. Today, what we're going to do is problems with modifiers. Okay. All right. What I want to do is I want to ask some questions here. I'm going to maybe put a sentence on the board and uh, we'll see if we can see what the problem is with the sentence. All right? Um, and all of these are going to be problems with modifiers. All right, let's have a look at our first sentence. We ate a meal. at the restaurant that only cost ten dollar okay what is unclear about the sentence we ate a meal at the restaurant that only cost ten dollars. Okay. What only cost ten dollars? The meal only cost ten dollars? The restaurant only cost ten dollars? Here, the problem with the sentence is ambiguity. Okay, that it's uncertain. We ate the meal at the restaurant that only cost ten dollars. Okay? So it looks as though it's the restaurant that was ten dollars as opposed to the meal, which is what we meant. Okay, what about this one? He almost ate all the sandwiches. Okay. Now here, once again, we have a problem here with a misplaced modifier. It's the fact that we said almost ate instead of ate almost. How does somebody almost eat something? He spit it out after chewing it. Okay, he almost ate all the sandwiches. You can't almost eat. You either eat it or you don't eat it. Okay, so here, once again, a problem of a misplaced modifier. In the same way as the meal and the restaurant were in the wrong place, here the almost and the eat were in the wrong place. Okay, so that was kind of an introduction to the kinds of problems that can come up. A misplaced modifier, to modify something, means to give a bit of extra information about it, okay, to, to kind of clarify it a bit further, to give more info. So when you're misplacing the modifier, you're misplacing the extra bit of information, sometimes it can look like the wrong person is doing the wrong thing. Okay? Problems with modifiers type one. All right? There's a rule. A modifying clause, phrase, or word should clearly describe the words intended by the writer. Put them close to the word that they modify. So... The rule I'm telling you is put the modifying word or phrase as close as possible okay to the word it intends to describe. Very, very, very important. Okay, now, what I want to do for much of today's lesson is kind of go through some examples of how that's going to work. Okay, I'm going to put some sentences on the board and then what I want to do is see if we can correct them together, okay? Mm -hmm. 
we signed a contract on Sunday to begin work. Okay. What's the ambiguity? What's the possible mistake that we can make in our understanding here? Okay, have a look at it. We signed a contract on Sunday. In other words, did we sign on Sunday? Or we signed a contract on Sunday to begin work. Okay? So either we signed the contract on Sunday or we signed the contract and work will begin on Sunday. Okay? So, try and fix it. How might we fix this sentence? We signed a contract. Now here, the on Sunday is right in between the two things that it could possibly be modifying. The contract, which is Sunday is when we signed, or the beginning work. If we want to get rid of ambiguity, we signed a contract to begin work on Sunday. If I do it that way, what I'm really saying is that the work begins on Sunday. Alternatively, what I could do is, on Sunday, we signed a contract, meaning that it was the signing that occurred on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Dan only wanted to go to the park. Dan only wanted to go to the park. Well, there are so many ambiguities with this one as well. It's, it's problematic. Maybe. Only Dan wanted to go? Only Dan wanted to go. Dan only wanted to go. Is it the only thing he wanted to do? Did he want to do anything else? Was it only the park? Dan only wanted to go to the park and not anywhere else. Okay? All right. If I wanted to say only Dan, I would have to switch these two around. Dan was the only person, so I would say only Dan wanted to go. If I wanted to say the only place he wanted to go was the park, I would say Dan wanted to go to the park only. Okay. So depending where you, where you place the only is depending what is the thing that's being limited. Okay, let's try one more. Sometimes we've read interesting things in the paper. Sometimes we have read. Sometimes we have read interesting things as opposed to other people having read them. What's the sometimes referring to? Sometimes it's us or the sometimes we read. Okay, so you can see that very often when we use certain words, there is an ambiguity as who's referring to what. So if I say sometimes we have read and sometimes they have read, okay? Well, sometimes we have read, okay, and sometimes we have watched it on TV. 